Hey guys, welcome to the ultimate guide for dead side in 2021. 10 tips in 10 minutes. I did listen to you guys in the previous video where you guys felt the video was way too long. So, since you guys you know, weren't too pulled back on telling me the time wasn't very good for you guys, um, maybe you can do the opposite as well. You know, leave me a like and sub to the channel just to show your appreciation that I do take your feedback into consideration and that I'd like to see, you know, what kind of effect this shorter video style does. So yeah, let's try and get about 100 likes and see where it goes. So with tip number one, tab, shift and alt is going to be your go-to keys in dead side, okay? They have implemented a function where if you hold Alt and click on an item, you're going to drop it automatically. And if you hold Shift and click on an item, you're going to pick it up automatically. Okay, so double clicking isn't needed anymore, which is a really, really nice um, feature, which makes things a lot um, easier. Of course, you've still got your, you know, your quick ways of turning clothes into rags when you're looking at it by pressing G and then yeah, G turns it into a rag and then F picks it up really, really quickly. Um, but yeah, um, the tab shift um, is going to be very important. And as you can see, I'm just pressing tab. Even, even if I can't see the object, if it's in my vicinity, then tab will let it show up for me that I can loot it um, very, very quickly. You can use it cheeky ways, being outside a house looting it, but it just makes looting overall much faster. Then tip number two is all about cover, guys. Now, normal AI don't really pose a major threat, but the military AI um, definitely poses a threat and can kill you. Okay, so using um, cover is extremely important. Um, I always play on first person servers, but here I'm showing you in third person, you know, just how much it can help you spotting people before they spot you. Being behind cover helps a heck of a lot with PvP. Um, you know, knowing where your enemy is because he's not behind cover and you are, but it definitely helps a lot with the AI. Uh, because they have got, you know, varying degrees of aim bots on them. Um, being in cover helps you helps you a heck of a lot and it's really something that you must take into consideration. And like I say, said, uh, military AI can kill you a lot quicker. And then the heli crashes AI can shoot you from very, very far away. And even the sniper AIs, the snipers can shoot you from much further than what you used to. Okay. So on to tip number three. If you want to respawn somewhere um, else, okay, then jumping down a rock. Um, or run, or jumping down a steep hill, you know, or just running into AI is a very, very quick way to kill yourself and then to respawn at another place. If you have been playing for about two and a half minutes, I think it's two and a half minutes, and your friend wants you to spawn close to him, or you want your friend to spawn close to you, then two and a half minutes is the max, okay? If you're struggling to kill yourself in the varying ways that I'm showing you right now, then you can just press escape and suicide because after about two and a half minutes the suicide option is available and you can use it as well let's say you're fully geared but you're not in a place where you're scared your body will get discovered you see an airdrop happening you can you know you can suicide go get the airdrop you know and put the put the loot in your base or in the safe zone and just go back to your body because you can mark your body with the marker Tip number four is all about um, healing, okay? Bandages, painkillers, medics are, so, are your go-to items for healing. But while you are starting out, rags, vodka, moonshine, and rubbing alcohol is definitely your go-to starting items, okay? With a rag healing you for about 6 HP, not about, for precisely 6 HP, it's, it's changed since the last update. And a sterilized rag healing you for 18 where I think it was at 15, but it's healing you for 18 HP at the moment. And you heal passively as well, okay? If your water and food is in the yellow or in the white, white being the best, you know, yellow being slower, and then red, you're not healing at all. 
and that will definitely come into uh, that will definitely be a factor in the next episode where we discuss advanced strategies um and then we'll look at the water and food more in depth tip number five always hunt down non-military ais if you can of course i think your chances of getting dog tags might be a little bit more um if you kill military ais but yes do loot every single ai enemy that you kill and try and focus on that in the beginning okay because um, you get dog tags on them which will give you reputation points and that is going to make your life a lot easier because you'll be able to spawn at specific locations now when you die there will be a red circle around the area that you've died in but you can spawn at another location again kill yourself very quickly and then you can spawn you know closer to that red zone if you want to there's various ways to shorten the trip for you but trust me dog tags that you find on ai is invaluable for getting back to your body after you've died and you're going to die a lot by ai and by players especially ai okay tip number six is easy and medium missions are great for um gathering starting gear okay this is an easy mission um as you can see this is about the starting gear that you get from ai you know shotgun pistol and the s85 um, sniper rifle um if you want to call it a sniper rifle but of course it can take a sight which will help you heck of a lot but as you can see um you know the umr which is in my personal opinion the best starting weapon so when it comes to easy and medium missions it's all about luck okay on easy missions you will get loot that you like about two to three out of ten times on medium missions it's about five out of ten times and you know then you get to hard and epic and like on, like on epic you'll be happy like eight out of ten times i've i've done epic missions where i wasn't happy with the loot but you'll be happy at, at about eight out of ten times but at the beginning guys you know don't take on the military ai immediately definitely focus on easy and medium missions then tip number seven is soda soda basically gives you replenishes 50 water okay i've tested this for you guys and then a food can gives you 30 food and five water okay definitely something to take in, into consideration because your water drains faster than your than your food but when we starting in the next episode with medics and stuff like that it's going to be very important tip number eight gather as many spare parts as you can okay spare parts can be used for um crafting medics which cost ten thousand dollars if you if you're not crafting it um so you know medics you can collect spare parts to collect the medics and then you can um, sell it and we're gonna discuss a few selling strategies in the next episode but as you can see even on devices you know you can get quite a bit of money for walkie talkie and uh, a, a key lock or you know a, a lock pad costs um hundred thousand i think yeah i think it's a hundred thousand um but you can craft it okay which makes a which makes a major difference and especially for base building to build a small crate you need sheet metal you can't buy sheet metal you need to pick up sheet metal for sandbags you need burlap okay to craft the sandbags for your base again even for the towers although i don't like the towers but it's good it, it looks good so just focus on collecting everything to make things easier for yourself tip number nine you have to do the military points at some stage okay and look at the map um, UI to use the markers while pressing and the auto run. Okay, so on the left hand side, it's very easy to learn. But what I'm showing you now is all the um, military points where you can kill um, military AI or be killed by military AI. And of course, the new bunker has been added, which is a great addition. Uh, but yes, um, the, B, the first military checkpoint that I'm showing you guys here, the tents, is definitely something that you should go for somewhere in your playthrough. 
because you can get a motion um, not to be confused by the motion K you can get a motion here which um, is fantastic to get a scope and to combat players and AI at long range like yeah I don't have a scope so I can't really see them at long range but you will get military gear here and you will get you'll definitely get a motion from the from the AI in the towers so it's definitely a good option to go for the military points at some point to upgrade what you've got. And then yes guys, the last tip is basically that the UMR, this is my favorite kit. The UMR 45, okay, does 50 damage per bullet. Um, you can put a sight on it. And then the C1, the C1911 uses the same ammo, which definitely helps you with ammo, because if you don't, if your primary and your and your secondary gun doesn't use the same ammo, you're gonna have to put three different ammo types in your inventory slots, which are very limited in dead side, so it makes a major difference, okay? But basically, to go through it, the UMR45, the C1911, the Mosin, not the Mosin K, um, with the scope, okay? Um, and then one medex, five bandages, or ten bandages, one grenade, two sodas, and about um, two food, okay, um, is great. Of course, you can take five, five sodas or five food, it doesn't matter. But yes, this is how you will progress, and my guide will be, be on the same character, so that you guys can see my progress, and I will be showing you some of the base choices that you can do in the third episode i don't think i'm going to make this series longer than three episodes this basically just covered the basics for people that are starting out the second one will be advanced for people that might have been playing for a while but um don't know absolutely everything about the game and then the third episode will be things that not everybody wants to do but you know if you want to experience everything that dead side has to offer then I'll show you that in the third in the third installment of this ultimate guide with base building, you know, and other small tricks that you can use. In any case, guys, I am going to say hello. I am going to say goodbye. And again, click the like and the sub button if you enjoyed this. And see you guys in part two. Hope you have a great weekend. Cheers.